How you doing everybody? Yeah, this next one's gonna probably be kind of tough for me because uh, you know I'm, I'm here about uh, healing and helping and uh, There's this particular part that's kind of tough because uh, it It's one of those things that people don't realize and I really need them to maybe stop and think and uh, Understand what they're going through see here's the thing you know i'll tell you there this is a story this is a true story um i i uh found out i was gonna be going to jail one morning by a knock on the door and uh <clears throat> i got that knock on the door and uh woke up and uh found out they revoked my bond and i was gonna have to go to jail and uh i had my son and no wife at the time that I had to go to school and uh, the neighbor took him and uh, it was quite the traumatic thing for me I never really gave it much thought about the, what the officer had to go through people don't see there's traumatic situations that happen every day to them people you think they liked putting cuffs on me having to see my kid take it to school not knowing that his dad's not going to be there no more now imagine that's your job imagine that's what you've got to do because you have to uphold the law and you have to take and put the cuffs on that guy and take him downtown yeah it really does put the shoe on the other foot doesn't it because uh, imagine having to do that every day. Yeah. And so this segment here is about all you guys in Avatar Law. Every law enforcement agent. He understands. That's why he loves you guys the most. You see some of the shittiest things and try to do the good jobs. And it's hard. So do yourself a favor reach out when that time comes that it's too much because you got to you've got to take the and say hey I've had enough I I need a break and get some help because uh, you're one of our heroes and you deserve to be treated right but we can if we don't know and the only way we're gonna know is if you speak up don't keep it bottled up. Remember, we're getting rid of caveman. It's okay to cry. And it's really okay to show that you're crying on the inside. Because I know they did that day. And no cop wants to see that. Matter of fact, they have to build a shield around their heart just to do it. Sometimes that shield gets so thick, it's hard to feel their heart anymore. That's what we're hoping we're going to get rid of. We'll get rid of all the stupid things that happen in their lives. So they don't have to do that kind of stuff. And uh, they'll be able to enjoy going to work. Kind of like Andy Griffith used to. <laughs> you won't. Not yet. But soon. It will soon. But I do need you to know that the Father does know and appreciate you guys. Every one of you. And gals. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Trust me, when there's a doubt, he always doubts on or sides with you guys. So uh, don't worry about it. It's about keeping everybody safe. And if uh, a bad guy falls, oh well. Probably shouldn't have been doing that. But remember, it is about getting help if there is a point in your mind in your life. Where you've locked up enough guys in front of kids and you've just had enough it hurts get counseling talk to somebody in your unit i'm sure they've got people that'll get you in the right direction but uh you're our heroes we want you to be taken care of and he wants me to make sure that you guys know that it's always been about taking care of the heroes after all, it's the only reason we're all safe. 
we're getting there. Once everybody figures out they aren't supposed to be bad guys, your job's going to get a whole lot easier. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be perks and donuts and, and just, yeah, yeah, hanging out at the coffee shop. Yeah. It's not today, though. No, no, it's trying to keep your ass out of the fire, which it shouldn't be. Because people just want to blame somebody. Not the bad guys. They want to blame you guys because you didn't handle them right. Uh, screw them. It's okay. That's kind of what we're going to be promoting. Uh, we're about doing the right thing. That's all you got to do. And if you need help, do the right thing. Ask for it. And uh, like I said, I know... I never really gave it any thought. All I thought was how bad my morning was that day. But I know there was about four of you that was there, maybe five. I know you didn't like doing it either. Nobody does. Hang in there. It's going to get better. It really is.